Oh shit! Do what? Probably one of yours. Oh, did you know they had a pacifist setting in the settings, man? Did you see that at all? It's like... You can't kill anyone, but they can still kill you. Uh. It's, like, yeah, it's fucking awesome. Why would you want that? <laughs> kind of sucks about this is you can't actually just walk around and kill everybody like if you take out your gun and you shoot them they won't die I've tried it it's all we you find Aubrey's camp should be him and about four or five others what they're oh, that sounds now. delicious Jesus we shouldn't have sent them alone you said you have an inoculation fine We'll take all you can make. Just let me know when oh. it's here. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought I was going to convince this guy, like... Yeah, you know, uh... Everyone... Aubrey's, like, the last survivor, and, like, he said we should go ahead and... Get you all, uh... Medical attention. And instead, my guy's just like, Oh, no, they're all dead. Aubrey's dead. You all are fucked. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, we need your help. <laughs> like, I, I thought I was at least gonna tell him. Okay. Alright, so what do you I like something you do. Who? You. Yeah. They're all dead. You do, don't go. I'm a fucking god. <laughs> Did you see like uh, when I posted on one of my videos? I was like, on a thing. I was like, "There's no chance. We're all dead. We might as well end it now. We're all fucked. Life has no meaning." But you'll be happy if you check out my video. <laughs> like I posted that as one of the things. Gosh. All right. Let's see what. Oh, that was completing here to stay. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go load this uh, hollow tape up. Who knows, maybe I'll get, uh, maybe I'll get sent home tomorrow, man. From work. Who knows? I know, like, I think they require you to have to wear a mask now. But I don't know if they do that for stock crew as well, since the store's closed at night. So I might go in and they might say they don't have a mask and I gotta go.
Ugh. All right, I'm gonna have to go sell stuff. Is sweeter than bacon, child. Damn, who was just jamming out? I don't know, some people were just jamming out. Then I turned to look to see who it was. And it was over. <clears throat> New patient detected. Commencing. Oh, like they're they playing the instruments and stuff? Yeah. Cams. Yeah, they do that. It's kind of cool. Interview crocodile alligator. I have a sugar leg alligator. Now, if you look it up, if you look up, electro shock therapy is available upon request. Or, yeah, whatever. Tony, hey! Tony! Tony! Multiple Sonnies? Are they all Sonny? I hope this doesn't spawn me next to a bunch of enemies.
Strength. Do you have one yet? I have no clue. Alright, let me know if you need it. If not, I'm just gonna throw it in the vending machine for 200 bucks. Because you have all of them, right? I do have all of them, yes. And I sell my extras. But you can have it for free if you want. What's supposed to do here? I don't know. I gotta load this hollow tape up, but I don't think you went as far in the bedfellows quest as me, because you kind of went know. off to the to the other one. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it won't show me. Do you just not have it equipped? No, oh, that's, that's it. But it won't show me on the map. What's it say that you're supposed to be doing with it? Wait, the strange bedfellows. No, that's the wrong quest. So that's that's the new arrivals quest. Is complete yeah. the bedfellows and complete the here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm it. talking about yeah. just strange SD, bedfellows. SD, read yeah. The, yeah. Okay. All I gotta do is just read the. Oh, photo, whatever. You, back of the photo, yeah. I completely forgot about that stupid part. I do hope, like, even though most of this stuff is kind of sucky in this game, it's getting better now. I hope they keep mutations in the later Fallout games. Yeah. Like, I don't think I could play this game now without the super jump. Oh, yeah. It's just so awesome. I didn't have it, yeah. So you can have it now. We were playing it a long, a long time ago, a while back. Like we went to go play other games. I'm like, I'm trying to super jump. What the fuck? <laughs> like I couldn't help it. Like we were playing this so much, man. Oh my god, I'm burping like crazy.
Oh, this was that same place. <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck right here. Dude, just wait till you get to Arkham Knight. Uh, Arkham Knight is just fucking so dope. Nice like, after playing up. Arkham City straight to Arkham Knight, like, I was like, oh my god, this is so smooth. And got the fucking Batmobile, man. Like, what's Batman without the Batmobile? Yeah. If, you, if you're playing Arkham Asylum. I don't know. I don't know. I can't see. Yeah, you're playing Arkham Asylum. The only thing that sucks is Arkham Origins, I think, is not on Xbox One at all. No. And that was actually, more, I like that better than Asylum for real because of uh, Slade. Yeah. What's well, Arkham Origins? That game came out after Arkham City, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's weird that they didn't remaster that one. Because that's, that was almost like a spinoff. Well, it was a prequel. It was like it's before yeah. he became Batman. I think that's kind of necessary. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh shit, oh fuck, they're fire ones and shit. Holy fuck. Yeah, fire, acid, and ice. Dude, they're gonna fucking kill me. Fuck.
I'm dead. Now the first ones... The first ones I ran into weren't bad because they took one shot and exploded. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. I gotta sell some more stuff. I have no clue. Yeah. Yeah, that, that entire game takes place in the asylum. Like, you never leave. Yeah. So the entire game like is just it. you walking around it. Um, so it can be kind of a puzzle in trying to figure out where you go. A lot of things I would, like, try is, uh, do you have the stuff that you could blow up walls yet? The only thing I can think is if you check, uh, see if there's any type of like air ducts or something. You know, I'm not sure where to go other than that. I mean, it's gotta tell you what you gotta do. <coughs> Hello, I'm Alex. Welcome to the newsstand. It's so nice to have guests again. You have no idea how boring it's been here. What can I get you? Where is this dude's password at? Or, uh, oh, it's, it, it, it's, it's in the outhouse. Okay. Like it's in Fuck. the it's in the toilet out there. Yeah. Oh, we've got so many brushes. Oh, they're fighting that fucking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stay See, here. I got lucky when I went there because there was a there's a level 155 dude that ran up and uh, just was just killing everyone but I think he was staying there and he was just farming them like he was letting them respawn and he was just knocking them all out holy so fuck guessing, they're gonna like, Crazy out there. I'll kill each other. Shot glass, toaster. Oh, yeah. Today's papers aren't in yet, but we've still got some old books. Yeah, what's up? I think it only tells me there's two people watching right now, but... Are you a smoker? Would you like a cigarette? Cigar? You're the only person I've seen actually uh, talk. White spring lighter? Yeah. I haven't really had many people enter in here. You know, a lot of people watched earlier when I first streamed, but... They just want to see what it was about. Oh, we've got so many brushes. Please do not interfere with resource security patrols. Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, 
in this game, what I suggest, because it's very awesome, is mutations. So if you're a new player, if you get more rads, you get mutations and stuff. And, uh... It allows you to do cool Deputy stuff, so you can hit back on that. Let me know if there's anything my staff or I should do to make your day more enjoyable. I just want to look at it. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, so what I have set up... If you go over to... Look, they got starch jeans, and I gotta look at this thing again. Oh, inspect. Okay, so you got two levels of uh, starch jeans. You will never mutate from rads, and right away will never cure you. So there's a lot of stuff for like mutations and things, and some of the best mutations right right here. Uh, they got negative effects. But depending on what you want, it doesn't really matter. Marsupial gives you plus 25 carry weight, and you jump high. Like, I'll show you. So you can jump pretty high. And that helps if you want to try to avoid um, a lot of the enemies and stuff. You can jump on an outhouse, or you can actually jump buildings. And then, so if you're having st time struggling with, like, super mutants and stuff... Yeah, but uh, if you get rads, you have a random wow. chance of getting one of these mutations. So, as long as you don't cure your rads. If you cure your rads, it will cure your mutation unless you hit level 30. I believe it's 30, which you unlock that starts June perk. And then the first one, you have a less chance of getting cured. Uh, second one, you have, you can right away all day. And you won't have uh, your mutations go away. But there's like a big list of which ones. Some of them don't help at all. Some of them are cool. Like Chameleon where you're, if you're not, if you're standing still or crouching, you're invisible. And you don't have to have it on any armor to do that. Uh, Bird Bones is pretty good because you take less fall damage. Your agility is plus five, but you lose one strength. Which is about like five carry weight, I believe. So there's a lot of things you can just go through and see which ones you want. But that's what, uh, I think that's probably like the best part of this game is just mutations. So that'll help you out a lot. Like I, I went through the first uh, 30 levels just having half health. But having that super jump helped out a lot. Yeah, I don't think many people really Nothing but reds. see anyone ask for items other than, like, ammo. Um, oh, if you have a camp, you can actually build a vending machines. And, uh... Like, actually, I'll show you my house real quick. I'll just show you what it is. I wanted a nice green yard, so... I went ahead and, uh... What is it? A nice green yard, so I went ahead and just put my house on the golf course. <laughs> it, it looks better, and it's a flat ground, so you could kind of do whatever. And it's right next to the shop that you can use to sell all your stuff. Thank you for the follow, man. You were awesome. Okay, so let me go over here. This White House looking place is the best place to sell everything. But also all vendors have a set amount of money. So I think they have like 1,200 caps. And it doesn't matter who you sell stuff to. It's all just 1,200 caps. So that's the most you can get in uh, one day. Yeah, screws suck. Um... I would suggest, like, there's, like, a DMV you can find in the game. And they have a bunch of fans laying all around the building. So you can actually go there every, uh, like, couple of hours and it'll respawn. And just collect all of the fans. 
at least until you get later on in the game, and then you can just take it from the, uh, the vault. Okay, so this is my house right here, and I actually have it on the back end. Let me grab the water. Uh, these vending machines right here. So, like, you can have up to four, and they take weight from your actual storage. But you can sell stuff to other players. So, like, right here, I have bobbleheads for sale, but I the caps. Jump ahead, jump away. Alright, there we go. I need to attack by four glowing uh, bears. Bears? Yeah, like the Yao guy. There we go. Okay. Uh, you have a random chance of like a bunch of enemies showing up at your house. Every once in a while and just destroying stuff. Uh, this is the first time this has happened. Usually it's just like a bunch of ghouls attack. But, if you go out here, you can actually repair everything at one time. I'm probably just going over to this thing. Uh, repair all structures. Yeah, repair. Cool. So now everything's back to normal. Okay, it's competition, you know, trying to eliminate me because of my good prices. <laughs> Alright, so like I was saying, on the vending machine, like I have bobbleheads right here for sale for like 180 caps each because you get one per like server in a specific area. So if another player is on, they can actually get it first. And then you got like, uh, the serums give you your mutations if you don't want to try to get it randomly by getting rads, by standing in water, then curing yourself, then standing in water over and over again until you get that stuff. Um... This is pretty much like I sell a bunch of aid and stuff. I got plans here for like 50 and 100 caps. Um, if I find a plan or something, I try to I just sell it because I already have them all known, or most of them known. And then I sell some armor and stuff. So this one's set up for aid and food. That's what I got to sign here. I got ammo in this one because you can't sell ammo to NPCs. So I got a bunch of ammo for like. You know, one cap each, two caps each. But I don't need it. All I use is a uh, 44 Magnum. And then, uh, I gotta change that. Screen on my now. caps. That thing's popping up way too often. Alright, and then, uh, fusion cores I'm selling because I don't use power armor. So you can kind of have whatever set up. That's how you kind of make money in the game. That's why a lot of people don't, uh, don't really care about like asking for stuff. This unit has been yeah, man. Um, let me show you somewhere on the map real quick. So, where, where is it?
I think it's over... There's a specific spot. 